let's talk about how to video things at long distance. Why would you want to video things at long distance for starters? Uh, for me, I like to film wildlife. Uh, they're hard to get close to, and sometimes you don't have the time or logistics to get close to them. Could be a canyon between you and them. Uh, you could be spotting from the road and just want to capture it. Uh, a lot of times you just want to spend time on the range and you want to see where your impact is going. And sometimes you like to video that. Uh, if that really is what you want to video, the best thing you can do is go put a GoPro on a tripod right next to your target. That works pretty good. I've done it for Saturday load testing. But uh, sometimes you you forget to do that. It's a hot range. You don't want to go down range or make everybody stop shooting. So you might want to put an adapter on your spotting scope. So let's talk about the different ways that I have done this. Uh, my brother and his friend both have uh, the cheapest route, which is a phone scope knockoff off of Amazon. They're dirt cheap. They will adapt to any spotting scope and any phone, pretty much. They're universal. The downside is it's very difficult to get them horizontal or vertical, uh, so they're always on a bit of an angle. So your footage is always a little on an angle. You know, if you're if you're trying to do footage you want to use in a video, it might not be the best thing. But if it's just you want a visual record of it, it'll work just fine. So my setup is I've had this Leopold Gold Ring HD 12 to 40 by 60 spotting scope since about 2015. Um, so it's going on 15 years now. At the time, it was the top of the line spotting scope they offered. Short of any high end European optic, I think it's the best thing out there for the money. And what I did was I bought this phone scope adapter for it. It's just a slip fit, slips right on the eyepiece. And then initially I bought a phone case for my Samsung S5 Active. And this isn't the phone case that came. This is a similar styled one. And it had this adapter glued to it. And you just twisted these two together essentially. So they just twist together, slip it on your spotting scope, you're done. Uh, I threw that phone case away because I don't have that phone anymore. I've moved on to an S6 Active. It uh, didn't fit my S6. It was close, but it wasn't perfect. So I basically, this was just glued onto the case. I basically just broke the glue off, kept the ring in case I want to glue it to another one down the road, and kept that case in case I wanted to use it. This is a 12 hour test. Phone scope, Samsung S5 Active with a Leopold gold ring, 12 to 40 by 60, 12 power. Crank around up to 40 power. Extremely limited field of view. Zoomed in about uh, two two times. I am through my Leopold at 20 power. And that's my story. Let's zoom in a little more and see if it looks just as bad. Well, that's 40. Take it back down to 30. That's 30 power. Back in the 20. That's about the sweet spot. Not that it looks phenomenal by any means, but it's not awful. So here we go at 200 yards. After I changed phones, I didn't want to go buy a new phone adapter every time I changed phones every two years or so. So what I did was, the next step was I bought a GoPro adapter. And this is a GoPro 6, but this adapter goes on a, I believe a 4, 5, 6. It just slip fits right on there. So you just put these all together, slip it on, and you're filming. So I would use this on like a window mount in my truck. That's the way I tested out last year, spotting for deer. It did work. Uh, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't ideal in my opinion for GoPro to work. Your spine scope had to be the lowest power, which is 12. You had to zoom in GoPro digitally. So you put your GoPro on narrow zoom in the farthest you could and that would eliminate as much of the black ring as possible essentially you're not using the entire sensor and you lose optical quality when you zoom in in low light this just is not the best scenario to capture your footage it's not super clean footage to begin with you can't zoom in with the spotting scope to get the most out of your very expensive glass essentially you're, you're relying on the electronics digital zoom and you lose a lot of clarity and quality in the video so last summer i decided maybe i should try taking out my canon m50 with a speed booster and this Tamron 100-400 lens and seeing how it did. I wasn't very happy with the way the phone scope adapter put the big circle around all of my images. It really cut down the useful part of the sensor in my opinion. 
so I thought I'd try to take this out and try it. I ended up scouting deer with it uh, last summer, and I couldn't have been happier with the results. It had essentially the same amount of zoom as this did on 12 power, zooming in as far as I could with the GoPro. It used the full sensor of the Canon M50, which is a much larger sensor than the GoPro or the phone has. I was able to get a lot better low light footage out of my Canon than I was out of this GoPro. The sensor is so much bigger. And with this lens, it was comparable to 12 power with the maximum zoom on the GoPro. I don't know about the phone because I don't have an adapter that currently works with it. It doesn't matter. I have Samsungs. I don't like to record on Samsungs because I edit with a Mac and they do not like each other. It's a, it's a real workaround to get footage from Samsung onto a Mac. Uh, I think if you have the right kind of spotting scope, like a Swarovski, uh, phone scopes probably work just fine. I know there's some high-end photographers that do that when they're videoing for uh, hunts. Um, I think uh, some people, use, quite a few people use Vortex with phone scopes and they seem to work okay. But uh, I'm a Leopold guy, made in the USA. That's what I like to run with. Like I said, I've had this thing for 15 years. Uh, drug it on elk hunts, goat hunt, um, deer hunts, you know, it's never failed me. So, so I think moving forward for me, I'm going to run with this, uh, this setup with a hundred to 400 lens. Uh, it just makes more sense. Uh, the image is a lot better quality. If I'm going to go on like an elk hunt, maybe I won't drag that in the back country with me. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, it is a rather heavy, heavy piece of glass. That's my two cents on phone scopes when paired with the Leopold HD spotter. For me, it's a pass. I would definitely go with something like this. Now, if you don't have all this on hand, that's a pretty big investment. Uh, you know, spend under a hundred bucks and get a phone scope adapter. No big deal. And you'll still be filming. It just won't be as high a quality.